Hello, Hemingway, and how are you doing today? I want to come first saying Merry Christmas, to, but to give you a Christmas message. If you have your Bibles, would you turn with me to the Gospel of Mark, the first chapter, the first through the third verse, the Gospel according to Mark, the first chapter, the first through the third verse. The Bible says this, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets. Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. 
the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord and make his path straight. If you just give me a few moments on the title, the announcement, and I have my remix or uh, subtitle, an immediate upgrade, an immediate upgrade. Pray with me as we get started. God, in the name of Jesus, move Gerald out of the way. Let the real teacher teach. Let the Holy Spirit do it. God, we thank you for those that are listening. We ask you, God, to open hearts and open minds and unstop ears. God, we thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We believe through this Christmas message, somebody will be saved and set free, delivered, healed, and grow. And someone may even come to join the church. So God, we thank you and we praise you. Do it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The announcement and immediate upgrade. The gospel of Jesus Christ is neither a discussion nor a debate. It's an announcement. The writer of Mark wasted no time giving this announcement. At the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, every great story has a beginning, and Mark takes us to the beginning of his gospel. The ancient Greek word for gospel means good news. So this book is the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is the good news of Jesus. I like Mark, but let me run down the Gospels. Matthew wrote primarily for the Jews. Luke focused mostly on the ministry of the Son of Man. John's Gospel dealt with serenity. John opened up saying, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. But Mark, I like Mark, because Mark wrote with the Romans in mind. And his theme is that Jesus Christ, the servant, the emphasis in Mark's gospel is on activity. Mark uses the word straightway, meaning immediately, 41 times in his gospel. Mark does not record many of the Lord's sermons because his emphasis, his emphasis is on what Jesus did rather than what Jesus said. Mark gives no deep story about our Lord's birth, nor does he record a genealogy because it is unnecessary for a servant. I'm going to say this again. Mark does not record many of the Lord's sermons because his emphasis is on what Jesus did rather than what Jesus said. I told you all at Bible study, we're in the era or the dispensation of demonstration. Mark gives no deep story about our Lord's birth, nor does he record genealogy, because this is unnecessary for a servant. And today I wanted to let you know on this Christmas morning, it doesn't matter the details of your birth. It doesn't matter whether you're a single mother born out of wedlock with an absent father. It doesn't matter whether you have a two-parent household. It doesn't matter if your family gave you up for adoption. I'm talking to somebody. No, none of that matters. It doesn't matter if your family was dysfunctional. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter deep down in the details. Mark makes an announcement. There will soon come a man. His name is Jesus, God's servant, sent to minister to the suffering people and to die for the sins of the whole world. First lady, the announcement, that's the announcement, that's the good news, that he's coming, and when he comes in our lives, there's going to be an immediate upgrade, and if you receive him, he'll make all your crooked ways straight, but we have to understand Mark's announcement, we have to go back and understand that Mark's announcement was prophesied in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, the first thing we saw was uh, Mark uh, was the ministry of John the Baptist. And that was prophesied in the Old Testament. And some of the passages in the Old Testament predicted there would be a forerunner who would prepare the way for the Lord. This forerunner whom God called my messenger. Listen to what Isaiah in the 40th verse, uh, 40th chapter in the third verse says. It says, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. 
The idea of preparing the way of the Lord is a word picture because the real preparation takes place in our hearts. Listen, the real preparation takes place in our hearts. But I like verses four and five because this is what it says. It says, when he comes, when Jesus comes, Isaiah was prophesying here. He said, when he comes, every valley shall be exalted and every mountain shall be brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places shall be made smooth and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all of the flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Oh, that's an announcement. That's an announcement because when he comes, there is an immediate upgrade. There's an immediate upgrade. There's an immediate upgrade. And then Isaiah, if you look at him, once again, he prophesied again in, ver in chapter 35, verses 5 and 6. And Isaiah here prophesied when he comes, there will be miracles, there will be signs, and there will be wonders. Isaiah said it this way. He said, when he comes now, then will the eyes of the blind will be open and the ears of the deaf unstopped. I like Isaiah. Then he said, then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue will shout for joy. That's some good news. That's for good news. And I just come by on this Christmas morning to let you know this. I'm going to stay with Isaiah because Isaiah led to the prophecy that Mark picked up. And what Isaiah said in 9 and 6, he said, for unto us a child is born. For unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I came by to make an announcement on the Christmas Day that the Son of God is already here. He's already here. He's already providing the immediate upgrade. He's here to save. He's here to set free. He's here to deliver. He's here to break every chain. He's here to do the immediate in your life. I came by to let you know. He'll do it if you just put your problems on his shoulders and he'll carry it. If you just put your circumstances on his shoulders, he'll carry it. If you just put your depression on his shoulders, he'll carry it. If you just put your bills on your shoulders, he will carry it. I came by to let you know the announcement has already been made and now he's doing an immediate upgrade in your life. I want to thank you, Hemingway Memorial AME Church, and everybody listening out there on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. God bless you. God bless you, Hemingway. I pray that you have a wonderful and safe Christmas. And remember, Jesus is the reason for this season. God bless you. We love you. Look, we love you. Guess what? Don't forget, COVID-19 procedure is still in effect. What do we need you to do? We need you to go get your shot, go get your booster. We need to wash your hand. We need to use hand sanitizers. We wear your mask, wear your mask. and social distance. Amen. Why? Because we love you. We love you. God bless you. God Merry bless Christmas. You. Merry Christmas. On this Christmas morning, we want to offer you salvation. What, a, what greater day to do it? Jesus is the reason for the season. The day that we on our calendar celebrate his birth. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, that men or women shall be saved. We offer salvation to you right now. If that's you, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, type it's me in the comment section. Let us know that you want to give your life to Christ today. You want that change. You, The announcement has been made. You want the immediate upgrade. And you may be looking for a church home. We offer the church home to you. Come and join us here at Hemingway. You can do it the same way. You can type as me in the comments and we will get in touch with you. You may have a special prayer or you may be wanting us to pray with you so that you may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues. If that is you, type as me 
on this Christmas day. We would love to pray with you and pray for you. God bless you and Merry Christmas. Yeah.